YouTubers, it's Dolly. First thing I want to say is, hey, it's three days till I go to Texas. Yay! Vacation! Um, that said, Christine, I don't think I'm going to be able to meet up with you because my girl has got all kinds of stuff planned for her and I. And, uh... We're keeping kind of a tight schedule and her family's going along and I don't think you, I don't think that this is gonna work out this time, but I will be back in Texas very soon, I'm sure. So next time I come down, we'll hook up and hang out. Um, and Aki, don't let the drama upset you, honey. Just let it go. Everything's okay, okay? We all love you very much. And, you know, if you live closer, I'd love you even more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, what else can I tell you? I stayed overnight by Chica's last night, and I'm staying there tonight. I watched a really good show last night on PBS about, um, what's her name? Mary Pickford, she was like a old time silent film actress and it was about her life and the rise and fall of her career and it was really wow. It was on The American Experience, I think is the name of the show. And uh, I'll look that up real quick just to be sure that that's what it was. Um, if you get a chance to see this show, it was really good. I mean, if you wanna see what a courageous, strong woman looked like in the early 1900s. Because, you know, during the early 1900s, women still weren't doing a whole heck of a lot. There were a small handful of courageous women that were paving the path to, you know, towards equality for women. And she was definitely one of them. And she had a very, very interesting life that sort of ended tragically. And... Um, it got me thinking, you know, she was pretty much washed up by the time she was 35, okay? And I think about all the actresses today that are, you know, well into their 50s and 60s and even 70s and they're still working. And, you know, by 35, nobody wanted to see her anymore. And, well, film was brand new and there were all these stars rising, you know, like Joan Crawford and uh, Greta Garbo, you know. And uh, so she was in competition with some extremely beautiful and talented females. And uh, it's kind of sad that it was really sad to just see her fade away the way that she did when she was such an important actress. You know, the whole world knew who this woman was. She was sort of the face of America for, for from the time that she was like 19 until she was 30. And uh, I can't think of another actress right now who has that kind of longevity and impact on um, the movie industry, you know? She was the first female to receive an Oscar. She was playing uh, child characters into her 30s. She was playing like 12 year olds. Um, Cause she had this, just this real innocent, childlike face you know she was absolutely drop dead gorgeous when she would like you know dress up in her adult way uh, but she made a very very convincing child and it was just oh it was such an interesting show so if you get to see it check it out it, it was cool um, and I guess that's all that I have to say for now I think I rambled on long enough I hope you all have a great day and we'll talk to you later